I rise today in recognition of Women's History Month and honor Carol McBride Persh, who served 18 years in the Nebraska State Legislature and eight years on the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. Through her various roles in Omaha, she has dedicated her time and service to bettering our community. As an Omaha native, she attended Beals Grade School, Central High School, and the University of Nebraska at Omaha. One of only three women in the 49-member Nebraska Unicameral, Carol's most notable accomplishments include protecting and informing victims of crime by providing guidance and support to pass the Crime Victims Bill of Rights and the Truth and Sentencing Bills. In 1984, she was the first president of the Nebraska Coalition of Victims of Crime, an organization that established an ongoing statewide coalition for victims of crime and a fund to establish victim witness centers in Nebraska. She also worked to protect homeowners with legislation that prohibited a lien for being placed on a home if contractors failed to pay subcontractors for their work. Carol valued the relationships she made while in office and believed most representatives were accessible, respectful, and willing to discuss issues. In the nonpartisan Nebraska Unicameral, she worked together to find solutions and pass bills that would benefit Nebraska statewide. Active in her community, she was a member of the Omaha Community Com Committee, the Juvenile Court Nominating Commission, the Mayor's Commission of the Status of Women, Omaha JCs, several parent teachers associations, many women's civic organizations, and the Centrist Federal Credit Union Board. She was also involved in the Order of Women's Legislatures, the Omaha Area Council on Alcoholism and Drug Abuse, the YWCA, the Omaha Library Board, the Developmental Disabilities Council, the Women in Management Association, and the Nebraska Coalition of Victims of Crime. She did it all. Although retired, Carol has encouraged many to get involved. It feels that even if you have retired or not in public service, there are many roles and ways to serve our community. But above all else, Carol believes her greatest accomplishment is raising her six children alongside her husband, Alan, whom she married in 1954. They all earned bachelor's degrees and have additional education cer certification and degrees because of the importance placed on education and their family. I cherish Carol's friendship and I treasure the wisdom that she has shared with me and others. I admire this wonderful lady, this great American patriot. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back the remainder of my time.